company and more proud of you. I'm going to hang up and I'm going to turn it over to Debbie Holloway and I will be watching as I'm doing my coaching sessions. Keep kicking. I hope you can hear this. Because this is what we're going to do. Listen, Tom Ferry's great. We're going to crush it. We're going to set more appointments. What did he say? One out of four? We can do better than that. Come on. Let's get some prospecting going. Let me know how you're doing. This is your chance. This is your chance to have them bite the dust, people. And by the way, I've added the wire ladies to this, so I'm expecting the women to really crush it. Looking forward to it. Let's get them to bite the dust, baby. Appointments. Show me how you're doing. Send me some love. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know how you're doing. Who knows? You set enough appointments. I'll do my Elaine dance from Seinfeld. Just saying. So tell me how you're doing. Especially Jay Pitts, Tom Tool. How did you do, guys? Who's winning? All right, let's stop the music for a second. I want to know what's working and what's not. By the way, are you using those affirmations? Because I got to tell you, now is when it can get tough because you've been prospecting. You're thinking, gosh, I don't know how many more people can I call. Are you worried about who to call? Are you worried about what to say? Do you poop out at parties? No, we've got this. Here's what we need to do. We have to move forward. We have to make this happen. So guys, point, post your comments here. Let me know. Thank you, Lorna. I am ready to rock it. Hey, Jeff Mays, you're a tough act to follow, but I'm going to give it my best. Those East Coasters rocked it today. Rocked it. Now let me see you crush it some. I usually have a lot of props. Didn't know I was going to do this until about 15 minutes ago. So I only have one. Guys, is it raining leads today? Are you setting those appointments? Are there like so many leads falling on you? You need an umbrella? Well, I hope that's your problem because now's the time for you to get that second win. Think about running a marathon. What is that like? You're running that marathon and you hit that point. And it's that point where you got to decide, I'm a little tired. The hamstrings are hurting. Maybe I need to back off. Maybe I, maybe I should be done. Uh, not. And why? Because you are a lean, mean, appointment-setting machine. Great affirmation. You should be using that. Are you setting those appointments? Are you going after it? Do not take no for an answer. Like Pipe said a little earlier, are you playing the seven-penny game? For those of you that weren't on, Guys, seven penny game. You lay seven pennies down in front of you. And every time you close for an appointment, you move a penny. Are you doing that? Because if you're not, start trying it. Let's see how good we are at closing. And that's right, Kelly. No fear. Absolutely no fear. Kimberly, you're three out of 15. Way to go. Rana, you're sending things to your open house attendees. Good job. What if you called them? Could you call them? Just saying, you want to hear a really good thing when somebody says, well, you know, I'm waiting or, well, you know, I'm just not sure if I'm ready to do anything. You want to hear a really great objection? Put some hearts in here. Hit that heart button. Let me know. You want to hear a good objection handler for that? I got a really good one. Because here's what I know. When somebody says that they think maybe they want to wait or, well, they sort of have an agent. The best response is, you know, many times I know of properties that are available but aren't active on the market just yet. Would you like for me to let you know when those become available? They never say no to that. 
then you go on to the next question. The goal being, get them to ask you a question. Get them to continue that conversation. That's what you're looking for them to do. That's what you want to have happen. Best thing I know, when you're prospecting, never stop. Tom said he had one that he used. I can remember doing this years ago when I was prospecting and Tom was my coach. And by the way, if I didn't do my job, I was gonna have to eat cat food. Who here would like to eat some cat food? Seriously, who wants cat food? Not me, but we could make that a goal. Calls or no cat food. So we had this thing we used to say, you're happy, you're home, you really wanna move. You're happy, you're home, you really wanna move. So I start <laughs> dialing the phone, you're happy, you're home, you really wanna move. And I'm playing the music at the same time. And guess what? They were home. They were happy. They did want to move. Oh my gosh, this stuff works. All you got to do is give it a try. Say to yourself, are you waiting for me to call? Are you waiting for me to call? You must be. That's why I called. You are waiting for me to call. Now's the time to set an appointment. Okay, guys, so let me know. How are you doing? Kelly, four calls, four appointments set. Woo woo! Good job, girl. Man, that's great. How many of you are running out of people to call? Anybody saying, hey, who do I call next? Anybody wondering that? Because who do you call next? If you're running out of people to call, who could you call? Expired, Fizbos. Are you calling around recent listings or recent sales? Hey, have any of you thought about calling people, businesses that might know more than one person moving, you could do that as well. So let's get some calls going. Come on, let's, I'm gonna start, let me find you another great song. I didn't realize how many similar songs I had to Tom, so I've gotta find you some new ones. Um, what I want you to do is I want you to keep making those calls. I'm gonna be here for you. Let me know when you get an objection you don't know how to handle, that's cool, just let me know. I'm here to help you. Come on. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Got my glasses on out the door. I'm gonna hit this city. Before I leave, brush my teeth with a bottle of Jack. Cause when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I'm talking pedicure on my toes. Come on. Let's try not to all our clothes. Clothes, boys blow up my bones, bones. Drop off and take my favorite seat. Who's setting those appointments? I see you guys are joining us. More and more people are getting on. This is the time. Listen, you wait, you'll fall off that wagon. Get on that horse and ride. Let's keep making those appointments. What do we have to lose? What if you said to yourself, you know what? I think what I'll do is I'm just going to make 100 contacts today. If you made 100 contacts today, how many appointments could you set? Worst case scenario, based on Tom's numbers, we're setting an appointment out of every four conversations. And if you're not setting an appointment out of every four conversations, now's the time to have a conversation with your coach. Let's work on those objection handlers. Don't be afraid to ask for the appointment. Let's do this. Come on, we can do this. Come on, make those appointments. Let's do it. Show me how you're doing. Post it in here. And by the way, make sure you're posting in the hub. And I'd love to hear from somebody at the office. How are you doing in that hub? Let us know. Give me the numbers. Post them here so we can see how everybody's doing. Um, I love that you're making those appointments. Hey. Hi, Mary. Glad that you could join us. This is your business. And this is your opportunity. No one's going to do it for you. That's the beauty of this. It's up to me. I don't have to rely on somebody else to be successful because it's up to me. What am I going to do to make it? What am I going to do? Who am I going to call? Let's face it. When you call people, yes, yeah, sometimes they're not real nice. I get that. That's okay. I can remember a client saying, in fact, I can remember doing this with the for sale by owner. Called her and she called me everything but a human being. The things she said about my mother, oh my God, she didn't even know my mother, but that's okay. I called her again. Every Monday I called all the Fizbos, and when I called her the second time, she was worse, and the third time. So the fourth Monday when I called, she said, you know what? Come on out. 
And at that point, I thought, I think she's going to shoot me because she was really angry. So I made someone from my office go with me. I got there and walked up to the door and she said, I don't get it. Everybody else hung up and never called me back again. You were the only one that kept calling. You were the only one that kept calling. Why did you do that? And my response was simple. Well, that's because I knew if you could sell your home all by yourself, good for you. But if you could not sell your home all alone, I wanted to make sure that you knew I was an aggressive agent that was willing to do what it takes to get your home sold. And isn't that the kind of agent you want? She listed her home. You see, we're all afraid of being too aggressive or too assertive. Get over it. Get over it. Do it anyway. That's what they're looking for. If they can sell it on their own, great. But if they can't, that's when they need us and we need to be there for them. Way to go, Charles Sparks. Good job. All right, Lynn, I love it. Ready, set, call. Let's do it. Let's do it. So guys, what do you need to be doing to make a difference? These people need you. This is not you going after them. This is you being the knight in shining armor for them. Because let's face it, as one of our great affirmations are, people choose me every day. People choose me every day. Or they're forced to deal with an idiot. If you don't call them, who are they going to get? An idiot. You're there to save the day for them. Remember that they need you. If they don't have you, they may get someone who won't take care of them. They may get someone who will take advantage of them, but that is not who you are. You have integrity. You have desire. You are willing to do what it takes. You have the knowledge. And you've got that wonderful ecosystem of all of us at Tom Ferry behind you, helping you move forward. So come on, don't stop. Let's get going with this. Let's do this. I'd sing, but I'm, I sing worse than Tom, so I won't sing for you. All I'm going to say is set those appointments. Let me know how you're doing. Post it here. I want to know how you're doing. And hey, those of you from the office that are listening in, let me know. How are we doing? Post that for me, please. Post it, please. Let me see if I can see on this one how you guys are doing. Come on, don't stop. Set those appointments. Make those calls. Do not take no when a yes is still available, because a yes is still available when we ask the questions. Remember, it's not... Well, I just got blocked from Facebook because of the music. So I will watch the music we're sending here. All right, guys, keep making those appointments. Come on, let's do this. These people need you. Reach out to the ecosystem, as Tom says. For whatever reason, it's my, this computer is blocking. Thank you, Brian. I'm glad you like. Oh, yes, I'm glad you like it. And Martha. Got one. Good. And it was a Fisbo. Way to go, Martha Cervantes. Way to go, Martha. You are crushing it, girl. Can't wait to hear how that conversation went. Because listen, that is tough going after a Fisbo. But you know what? They just haven't found a good agent. And thank goodness they found you. You got a Fisbo appointment. I love it. I'm so anxious to see how many more of you are getting Fisbo appointments, expired appointments. Let me pull this up again, because like I said, 
one of my two computers is not showing me the comments, which is fine as long as I know you're doing the work. So post here. Anybody else got one? Hashtag got one. Come on, let's do this. Hashtag got two. I'll take whatever you got. Let me know how you're doing. Come on, guys, post it here. Let me know. Let's do this. Let me see if I can find another song that Facebook will not decide to do that to. Oh. I Come on, let's do this. Post, please, let me know. I think I'm going to have to keep switching this. Come on, let's do it. I want the music to play. I want you pumped up. I want you dialing that phone. Let's go. Let's do this. You got this. Why? Because like I said, you're a lead. You're waiting for me to call. You're a lean, mean appointment setting machine. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Let's do it. My comments are coming through here. Remember, guys, I am in Kentucky. Information comes by way of covered wagon. That's okay. Doesn't stop you from prospecting, though, does it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, so here's what I know. Yeah, people are going to say no. But before you let that no go, ask again. Ask them again. Hey, so if I, if there were a way, fill in the blank, if there were a way that I could show you how to get top dollar for your home, wouldn't that work for you? A few little NLP things there. So just some of that. Come on, keep it going. Let's go. Do this. Just wanna feel this moment. Oh, I just wanna feel. 